district. Well, uh, considering all the choices that we had before, Bonbon uh, turned out to be the most capable, most qualified. First, alam mo naman, uh, he's a brilliant guy, you know. He, and yung background niya, you know, he started as a, a businessman. Like me, I am a businessman. And then uh, he became a teacher. Then became a vice mayor, mayor, and then congressman. But look at his performance. Ganda eh. Uh, especially, nakakainggit yung kanyang community college in Binalunan. Yung kanyang economic zone. Na ako yung naglalaway dyan, you know. I wanted to put up also one year. Look at his academic background, you know? public administration, pamantasan ng lansun ng Maynila, Master in Educational Management, University of the Philippines. Wala kang masasabi sa kanya academic background and his experience, you know. Nakikita naman natin yan sa binalunan ng 5th District. So if he can bring that skills and knowledge in managing Pangasinan, together with all of us, I think we can bring Pangasinan into a more progressive province. Sayang eh. So, huge province and dami resources na hindi nagagamit ng tama. Of course, importante yan. Because as a leader, there is a time when you have yung decision-making process, no? Alam mo, pag nag-umpisa ka, negosyante ka, palagay ko, wala kang corruption eh. Look, I started as a businessman, I became a mayor. Walang corruption dito sa bayang ba. In the same manner with the bonbon. So yung training yan, hindi corruption eh. These are all dreams na, you know, it takes a visionary leader to really implement it. Yeah, go to Bataan, Sambalis. And of course, they take up the workers. Yeah. Because of his vision to create employment. For example, in the Lunan, they are now looking for 10,000 workers for the one factory only. How much more can you create the sampo? Well, look at Bodmon when he talks, when he speaks. It's coming from his heart. Sincere na tao. At palagay ko, people will someday will love him as a good leader of Pangasinan. Nakikita mo naman eh. Very sincere. At saka, matalino. Friends who are doubtful about the capabilities of Congressman Robert Duco, I think to see is to believe. So let's try him. Let's move on and let him present leaders. So why don't we try one more? Para makita nyo, your doubts will be proven otherwise. Good luck. I mean, move on and then move on. I think so. 
also look at the numbers <laughs> first second catching up third you can see we are well organized fourth konting konti natalo kay Celeste yan now in Bonbon there I think fifth okay. sixth hindi pa kami nag-uumpisa <laughs> So look at the numbers, and uh, I think uh, he has the numbers, but of course we are not confident, we are not confident, we will never stop until he wins. Unang-una tatanungin mo, sino ang gobernador mo, di ba? Well, sinasabi naman nila na subukin natin to bago. So yung tao, nagsawa na eh. Gusto nila makakita ng bago. 15 years na sila dyan sa Capitolio. Plus Congress. 21 years. Ipang na sila. Nakita ng tao, what have they done? And here comes someone who is promising something different. So susubo pa na tao yan. Pagod na sila. Ito po yung pagkakaroon natin lahat para magkaisa. Magkaisa po tayo, mahal natin ang ating probinsya. Ito na po yung tamang panahon para magkaisa at pasubukan natin si Bonbon dito.